Strawberry Angel Food Lush might be one of my most favorite summertime desserts. Layers of angel food cake with a smooth cream cheese and homemade whipped cream layer, and then my strawberry pie glaze made from scratch and fresh berries on top. It's absolutely one of the best potluck treats you're gonna have all summer. So whether it's 4th of July or a day at the lake, this is one recipe you are not gonna wanna miss. Start by cubing up a 14 ounce angel food cake. For me, that's just the kind of standard bunt pan size one. You can make it yourself or you can buy one at the store. I made this one, it's actually a gluten-free one. And we're gonna cut that into bite-sized cubes. Keep in mind that people have a lot of stuff in their mouth here, so keep those about a half inch or so in size if you can. And then layer them into the bottom of a nine by 13 baking dish. You're gonna wanna add eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese to a medium-sized mixing bowl. Add a half a cup of powdered sugar and a third of a cup of milk. You want this to be spreadable, so if you find that your mixture is a little too thick, you can add a couple more tablespoons of milk and that's fine. So blend that up until it's perfectly smooth and set that aside. Now let's make the whipped cream. The original recipe called for Cool Whip. I don't use Cool Whip anymore, so if you have to, if you want to use Cool Whip, go ahead, but we're going to make ours from scratch. It tastes better and it's better for you. Into another medium mixing bowl, add one cup of heavy whipping cream and a teaspoon of vanilla. Beat that up until it's just starting to thicken and add two thirds of a cup of powdered sugar. Go ahead and continue to beat that until stiff peaks form, about another three or four minutes or so. You'll be able to know when you're at stiff peaks when you raise your mixer out and the whipped cream holds its shape and doesn't fall over. So now it's almost assembly time. Take half of your whipped cream and add it to your cream cheese mixture and gently fold those together. Once you've got it evenly folded, you're gonna to wanna to spread that over the angel food cake as best you can. If it's a little bit thick, you can use your fingers to spread it out, or you can add a little more milk if you need to, but don't worry about it being perfect. Just get it on there. Then take the remaining half of your whipped cream and spread that over top of the cream cheese mixture. Next, we're gonna mix up the strawberry layer. I am using my homemade strawberry pie glaze here. I have one and a half cups of my homemade strawberry pie glaze. I'll leave you the recipe right here. But if you wanna use a store-bought strawberry glaze, you can do that as well. Just wish you wouldn't, but you can. Then you're gonna need one 16 ounce package of strawberries that you've washed, stemmed, and thinly sliced. If they're very large, you're gonna to wanna to cut them into bite-sized pieces to make it easier to eat the dish. And then mix those into your strawberry pie glaze. And once you have those all combined, you can spread that over the top of your whipped cream layer. Go ahead and cover it in plastic wrap, place it in the refrigerator, and allow it to chill for a couple of hours if possible. You can even make it up to two days in advance. You can check out more of my dessert recipes right here, and I'll see you in the next video.